The night sky. Since the beginning of human history, we have looked up at the stars and wondered, what are those lights in the sky? Why do the moon and the sun set? Can we go and touch them? We have known how to make rockets for hundreds of years. The Chinese used them for making war and for ceremonies. However, none of these rockets were powerful enough to leave our planet and go into orbit. The Early 20th Century In the 1930s and 1940s, the Germans used long-range rockets during World War II. Some of their rockets could fly a distance of 320 kilometers while reaching a height of 90 kilometers into the air at 5,600 kilometers per hour. Scientists believed these designs could be used for space travel. The Cold War In the 1950s and 1960s, there were two world superpowers. The Soviet Union, modern-day Russia, and the United States of America. They had very different ideas about politics and wanted power in all corners of the world. They also wanted to be first into space so they could show off their technologies and power. Satellites In 1957, the Soviet Union put the first satellite into space, Sputnik 1. Soon after, in 1958, the Americans had their own satellite in space, Explorer 1. Yuri Gagarin In 1961, the Russian Yuri Gagarin was the first man to go into space. His flight was only 108 minutes long, but he went 327 kilometers from Earth. In 1962, John Glenn was the first American to go into space. But America did not like being second. Fly Me to the Moon In 1961, American President John F. Kennedy announced that America would put a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s. He said, We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The Space Race During the 1960s, millions of Americans worked towards sending men to the moon. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon and said these famous words, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Before 1972, there were five more missions to the moon, but we haven't been back since. Skylab and Space Shuttles in 1973, America put the research laboratory Skylab into space. There were three missions to Skylab before it crashed back to Earth in 1979. In 1981, the Americans began the space shuttle era. The shuttles could carry things into orbit and land back on Earth. The fleet flew 135 missions to space from 1981 to 2011. The International Space Station, ISS The space shuttles carried pieces of the International Space Station, ISS, which is a research laboratory manned by up to six people at one time. Sixteen countries are involved in the ISS project. It is the size of an American football field and has been conducting research since November 2000.
Space Explorers In the past 50 years, there have been hundreds of attempts to explore space, the planets, and to go beyond our solar system into deep space. Sometimes we use satellites, space probes, or remote landing vehicles such as the Mars rovers. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990 and remains in operation. It has discovered amazing things about our universe. Private Space Travel Governments are not the only ones trying to get to space. In 2004, Spaceship One won a prize of $10 million for the first private spacecraft to fly into orbit two times in two weeks. Hundreds of private companies now build reusable rockets, satellites, and other technologies to offer trips into space. Many governments now ask companies to develop technologies for space flight. That way, governments don't have to build them themselves. There are plans for day trips into space and even hotels. Beyond Planet Earth The Earth is becoming full. We are using too many of our resources. Everyone on Earth may die someday. Anything could happen. An illness could wipe everyone out, or a huge asteroid could hit our planet. Some people say this is why we need to go live on Mars, to protect our future. Not everyone agrees we should go into space or build space stations. Some people believe the money should be spent on helping people. However, much of our modern-day technology comes from research done to help the space programs. Going into space has helped us find out more about where we came from and why we are here. Where will our future take us? What is there still to discover?